Oh my gosh, look at this. K2 Plus. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Top shows, special angle. Hello, welcome to Scratch Studio Printing. This video, we'll be taking a look at Creality Print version 5.0. Let's scratch to this topic. Okay, before I get into Creality Print 5.0 and install and look at all the new features, I just want to say that if you don't want to hear this part, then this video will have timestamps down below. So make sure you subscribe because that actually takes some time. I did not know that you can get access to Creality 5.0. I keep seeing people post on Reddit and I keep seeing people saying Creality 5.0 and even the new firmware update on the Creality K1 Max has the update and say that print will be compatible with Creality Print 5.0 so I was like how do we get access to 5.0 where do people keep getting this stuff so I keep searching online and keep doing it and keep doing it and I finally found out with that Creality Print 5.0 is on GitHub it's in beta version so if you want to I will leave a link down below so you can go ahead and check this out yourself if I knew Creality Print 5.0 was on GitHub. I could have got access to it and make this video like two days ago, but, but it's fine. I now found it and I'll be taking a look at Creative Print 5.0 right now. And be mindful, this is my first time actually looking at Creative Print 5.0. It might not be like the best explanation of each other feature, but like I said, if you don't want to miss that, subscribe to this channel. I promise you, it's worthwhile coming back. After I got some time playing with Creative Print 5.0, I will go through the individual features that they add to that and make a video step by step on what is this and what is that on Creative Print 5.0 but enough with all talking let's go ahead and look at what they added to Creality Print 5.0 okay Creality Print 5.0 release note oh my gosh this is so exciting you can go ahead and read this and I'll leave a link down below okay firstly they have a new user interface interaction experience nice because I think the current version of Creative Print not the best UI but hopefully this one is gonna be better version 5.0 has faster printing speed and better printing quality oh that's gonna be so nice number one is key improvement they upgraded their UI so hopefully it's so much better <clears throat> if you look at this it's kind of like push a slicer with Orca Slicer with Creality Print all combined to Creality Print 5.0 which looks pretty good. You still have Creality's um, UI interface over here pretty much like the current version right now but it's just all the color scheme and stuff like that has changed and it looks like you have more tools at the top bar here instead of the side. I really hope that they add is the arrow keys. If you use Orca Slicer or even Kira Slicer, you will know that if you press the down arrow key, the scroll over here is going to go down according to how many times you press it. So it goes step by step or layer by layer and I love that feature. Creative Print current version does not have that so I hope they, I hope that they have that in this version. Printing becomes a piece of cake. The demonstration here, if you put an object over the build plate, it gives you the error. But I feel like that's pretty much every single slicer does that. <laughs> Variety of settings often cause confusion. For this reason, they selected commonly used parameters for basic settings, enabling a quick adjustment. Okay, this is kind of one of the problems I kind of have on most slicer. On the basic setting, you only have like a couple layers. And then if you want an event, hopefully you can enable that. So if we look at this, it's kind of similar to Orca Slicer. And from the first time I used Orca Slicer, it was really confusing to me and kind of hard because I've been using Kira Slicer for a long time and Creality Print was very similar to that. So what I'm saying is that it has like a main speed controller, right? So if you just type in 200, it will automatically adjust everything. And I kind of like that. But since Orca Slicer does not have that, you need to adjust all of the speed yourself, which now I find a lot better than what it used to be. Introduce waffle diagrams for parameters, illustrating complex stuff and stuff like that. So support and ref, it will show you exactly what you are getting yourself into. Like I said, I will explore all of this so that I can get a really good understanding of these and I'll show you guys in the upcoming videos. Top shows, threshold angle. It looks like you, if you hover over this, it will show you a diagram at the bottom below, which is really cool. Not many Slicer has that. Brim type, spiral basis, amazing. More efficient process tuning, okay. Advanced setting mode to access comprehensive parameters for more information and stuff like that. Oh, look at this, look at this. They got global and object which is nice because with this, you can edit the 3D model individually. If you want to set one that has 100% infill, you can do that. And 15% infill, 100% infill on two different things. One with support, one without support. That is amazing. And it looks like this button, you can change to advanced parameters or basic parameters. So they also added this invalid range, not invalid, modify parameters, reset. Okay, so pretty much standard like every single slicer out there. You can reset, you can adjust this. It will give you warning and stuff like that. Preview and slice now has become, what is this? 
what is this wigs sick wigs wait what is this <laughs> oh what you see is what you get oh okay okay now support in real time is modification during preview okay we click that and now we see it that's the problem i have with creality brand it keeps getting stuck on a number like this and never never work <laughs> That was my problem with creative print. I keep getting stuck on some percentage and it never goes up. And then I gotta restart. Okay, it looks like it's stuck or something. Professional settings. Okay, top surface. Oh, object now. Okay, so they switch to object mode. Okay. Different types of machine materials and process parameter by using the feature. You can thoroughly compare the differences. Oh, really? You cannot compare the differences. Oh, I love that. 1.2 setting configuration upgrade. Okay. You can configure your printer however you like. You can always do that on all of the slicers. But I think they just add more features and make it more easier for people to understand the access. It's a brand new 5.0 version. It's that we upgraded and make good effort to printing configuration with the aim of enhancing your printing experience. 5.0 is superior to a version of 4.3.8. For whatever reason, it's not showing everything. Maybe that was intentional. <laughs> so I guess that's the new version. And I guess that's the older version because that one looks a little bit better. Okay, so 5.0 is on here. 4.3 is over here. So as you can see there, it is a lot cleaner. A grid of user preset configuration. Okay, so you select, you edit, and it just show you okay same thing for filament multi-plate management pretty much like orca slicer now you can have many plates of many 3d models let's say you want to print this in pla you can do that abs tpu and more and more and more saving the plate to 3mf and that file for easy subsequent editing editing which is nice it's about time they got this into it <laughs> performance and quality Faster printing speed. Okay. Thanks to the algorithm improvement in version 5, printing speed ranging potentially between 20% and 50%. It will be based on model, structure, and printing process. Why is all the picture cut it through halfway? It looks like they might be using the same model here. For version 5, it's gonna take 7 hours 24 minutes for this piece. But down here is gonna be the version 4.3.8. It's gonna take 9 hours and 4 minutes. Look at that. Okay, here they improve the continuity of 3D printing path and attempt to follow the shortest route. Okay, so if we click on here. Okay, so if we look at this one, it's the 9R one. And look at this. It's going all over the places. It went over here and then come back down here. And then did the outside and it will come back over here. That take more time. Okay, this is a new version. It starts here. It goes down here. It finished the whole side. Comes back in the middle. It does the inner one. It does everything. And then it will go and do the outside. Looks like it's a, actually a lot better. But who knows, right? They say that it's better. So we will just assume that it's better and faster. 2.2. Higher slicing efficiency. Not only that, we optimize the slicing algorithm. Please do the slicer better. Because like I said, it keeps freezing on me. So hopefully version 5 does not freeze anymore. Give you the model, process, and then computer and stuff like that. Better print quality. Okay, so version 4.3 is like this. The outer wall becomes more delicate and smooth. So this is what the version 4.3.8 looks like. This is what the version 5 looks like. Look at that. It's actually, uh, actually a little bit more smoother. Yeah, but I will be testing this out. Z seem higher precision, richer styles, such as alignment. Look at this version 4.3.8. Look at that, it's just all of the place. And look here, version 5 is like zoom in the line, which is so nice. The generation of support is more rational. That has support, support, and look at this, it that's the result. It just sag, right? And that's the version 5. Look at that, how smooth that is. I'll be testing this out. I wanted, I really want to test this support now. Many 3 models that I do kind of require support. So 3.1 multicolor printing. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. First, Creative Print 5.0, they're giving us multicolor printing. The K2 is coming. Oh my gosh, this is just exciting. Exciting. Model import user can easily import a variety of 3D models, files, such as all of that. Coloring tools are provided. It's about time they got this. We can apply different filament colors to each parts of the surface. Nice. And then they will show us in real time. File export, general GCO, multicolor printing, ready for the final print preparation, filament mapping, stuff like that. Control the print to start printing. Okay, user can directly control the multicolor printing through the software interface. Job on the process, okay. All of the good stuff synchronized configuration by the cloud. Okay, okay, so looks like we can update 
our 3d printers or update whatever this is through the cloud adapted layer okay so from from the look at this if there's more overhang it's gonna slow down if it's like up here it's gonna go faster and stuff like that adapted layer look at this not using it looks like that using it looks like that which looks totally different but i'll be testing this out support painting you cannot paint support amazing finally they got into creality print you you can just paint a small portion and then it will just support that portion i want to use this feature on creative print but i couldn't and it doesn't have it and that's why i move over to uh, orca slicer scene painting nice nice before after and bug fixes <laughs> all of these bugs are squash they are fixing these things and hopefully we can get more of a better creative print right now man okay so that's basically all of the features and things that they added to creality print 5.0 so down here if you want to download this creality gives you all the download instruction right here okay so if you want to download this you can um download here i guess but wh where is it though this link will take you to this firmware update of your 3d printer so for k1 max user we need to upgrade our machine to this version which is the version that i previously updated so if you haven't seen that video i'll leave a link down below so you can go and watch that but let me see how will we get creality 5.0 aha uh -huh, i found it so you scroll all the way back up and you click right here release right here this is a release so we click right here creality print 5.0 release no we go all the way down we will get this assets so if you want to download this, you can go and click here. I'll be clicking it. I'm going to be downloading it. And I'll be using it, testing all of these stuff. Let you guys know how it went. And I'll see if this is good enough for me to switch back to Creality Print. And voila, here we are on Creality Print 5.0. Oh my gosh, look at this. K2 Plus. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. I want to click this button so bad, man oh my gosh in a couple of months when they release this oh oh i'm i wish i'll be able to click this button oh my gosh but as of right now i'll click the k1 map click okay and look at this this is very very similar to orca slicer or even bamboo lab slicer do they have this um they do look at this they even have this 3d cube up here that you can look at the top left right and stuff like that i love this button i will explore more with this so like i said if you don't want to miss this subscribe to the channel it's gonna be worth your subscription and it's completely free and i promise you you won't regret coming back to this channel okay as you saw there we look at creative print 5.0 and oh my gosh all the features are amazing i cannot wait to try out all of them and thoroughly test all the features and let you guys know how it compares to the older version of creative print if you enjoyed this video leave a like comment down below what do you think about creative print 5.0 have you installed it yet or do you think that it might not be able to compete with all the slicers like orca slicer and stuff like that by the way thank you so much for watching this video and as always keep on 3d printing